Hi, I am Nikhil. In this video, I will demonstrate how the transactions in the query tool work. In PostgreSQL, each statement runs in a transaction. By default, each transaction runs in auto commit mode in PostgreSQL, which means that the commit is automatically executed when a statement or set of statement is run. pgAdmin provides an option to change the auto commit or auto rollback where rollback is performed automatically if an error occurs. You can set this setting through the preferences for all the query tool sessions or you can update them in the current query tool sessions as well. So let's start. Open pgAdmin. Connect to any database server. Select any database node from a browser tree and click on query tool button from browser toolbar. Here in query tool toolbar you can find there are two options auto commit and auto rollback on error. Also there are two buttons for commit and rollback which can be used to commit and rollback the transactions if auto commit is disabled. Let's try some insert queries with auto commit enable. You can see I have already created the department table with ID, name and HQ. So let's insert some record. Let's add HR with HQ1. Execute it. Now you can see the query got executed successfully. Now let's execute the select query to check if the record is inserted or not in the new query tool session. Here you can see the HR record got added successfully. Now let's try inserting a new record with auto commit disabled. Go to previous query tool. From drop down, just deselect auto commit. Now auto commit is off. Let's try inserting the new record with auto commit disable. Let's add tech support department with HQ1. Here you can see the query got executed, but the commit and rollback buttons are now enabled. Also, we can see the connection status. It is showing it is in a valid transaction block, which means the currently transaction is not committed. This means the record we have inserted is not committed to the database. Let's try executing the select query in the query tool session. Now you can see the newly added tech support department is present. Let's open another query tool session to check the newly added record is present or not. I have already written the select query here. Now you can see the tech support department is not present with the new query tool session. That means the changes in the previous query tool transaction is not yet committed to the database. Let's commit these changes. To commit, you can click on the commit button from the toolbar or you can roll back the same transaction or you can simply write commit in the query tool and execute it. Let's click on the commit button to complete the transaction. Let's try updating the records from the query tool data output panel. Let's add new department. You can simply click on the add button and enter the name finance with HQ1. Now you have to click on the save button. Here you can find the auto commit is turn off. You will you still need to commit the changes to the database. 
and at the same time you can find the commit and rollback buttons are now enabled and the transaction status it is showing valid transaction block which means the current transaction is not committed yet. Let's commit through the query tool. Select the commit and execute commit. Now commit is executed successfully. Let's open the new query tool session and check the newly added record is present or not. Here you can see the finance is get added. Similar to the auto commit, we have another option auto rollback on error. This option will roll back the transaction if any error occurs in the transaction. Select it. Now let's update few records. Execute it. Now you can see the query got executed successfully. Now let's check the record is updated or not in the current session. Here you can see now HR is updated to the human resource. And the commit and rollback buttons are now enabled. And the status is showing valid transaction block which means it is not committed yet. If we execute some wrong query in the current transaction block, the whole transaction will get roll, roll back. Let's try executing some wrong query. In this particular query, I have intentionally added the wrong table name. So let's select and execute it. Now it throws an error underscore DEPT not found. And you can check the commit and rollback buttons are now disabled and you can check the status it is showing no transaction which means the transaction is rollback. Let's verify. Execute the simple select query in another query tool session. Here you can see we have updated the 29 record HR to human resource but those changes are not committed to the database and it remains at HR. That's it in this video. I hope you like the feature and will find it useful. Thank you for watching.